What is going on, everybody? McLean's Peach Hat World Champion coming at you. And I have some wonderful news if you love playing King. And I have some bad news if you don't like playing King. Because uh, I think King is potentially meta-defining. And I wouldn't be shocked if it becomes the best deck in the game. Uh, playing around King's leader ability is actually nuts. And just dropping the whole boss card stuff and the ramping up early and everything like that is not needed whatsoever just play around traditional cost removal and yeah get into the breakdowns and like the lines and everything here in a second but the reason why this uh deck in the opioid leaders how you want to play them it feels like is you need to take risk early on and block out of any just direct leader attacks because with king we don't really need the cards from our life because uh leader ability you can you, lets you draw a card so being able to play like aggressive like that and still just at some point being able to draw cards when you need it lets you preserve your life for as long as possible and the reason why that is massive is because there is no deck in the game that i've played that has late game and like efficiency that is as strong as this deck and there is not really any other decks that can do anything about it because uh what you can do is because we are running a whopping 20 2k counters it is a wall. It is just a straight up wall of defense. And why it's so insanely efficient is because Moria is just straight busted in this deck. Um, it lets you sack like our key hitter Kamazo as a 2k counter and Suru as a 2k counter. So you can, if you have Moria, you can knowingly just sack Kamazo and Suru because you're going to be able to bring them back. And Kamazo is devastating because if your opponent can't get rid of Kamazo, you get to use Kamazo's ability once per turn, continuously. And comboed with King's ability and just other things, late game, uh, coming off in this stuff. You can then just use, if you play the combo with Suru, drop a four cost down. Uh, you can then just use King's ability to draw a card and Kamazo will delete whatever's uh, two or less. It's it's so much fun. Uh, the only changes, I definitely want to play around with numbers a little bit more. Um, I might drop Who's Who and Khalifa down to both three. And then bring back the one-legged soldier just for a little bit more efficiency um, for hits for Moria. Like uh, making sure we have a bunch. I have the one Helm Epo in here just because uh, in case you need to play around Brook. Because uh, Brook is great against the non-removal decks. Because uh, early turn you can drop Brook and utilize efficiency there. And you can also bring Brook back like if you're not seeing Kamaza with Moria. or And even Rebecca. Which is pretty cool. Um, the reason... I've dropped the stage and everything is because uh, this deck actually sucks at ramping up. Uh, I have to play around that three cost stage is not good and there's just better ramp up decks. So instead of competing against the better ramp up decks like Pudding, we're playing around Maria. So against Pudding, Maria is devastating because Pudding's going to be ramping up. But if you get Maria on the board, because Pudding doesn't have a way to remove Maria, especially like in the early stages. Um, you drop Maria turn one against Pudding. While Pudding is ramping up, we're, that means we're also ramping up right with them. <laughs> like, Maria allows you to ramp up with any of the ramp up decks that don't have a way to get rid of it. And obviously then, the other line, if you're going uh, second, being able to drop Bond Clay is fantastic. Because then it allows you to potentially go into, like, King. Or just set up, like, different combos and stuff, uh... Because a lot of our cards, we got like the fours, and then we can play around like efficiency stuff with that. With uh, being able to get to seven, play around like the leader ability with like your five costs and stuff like two. Because then, uh, if you need to, you can use uh, you put the two Don also on King, attack for seven, and then use leader ability to go like work off and like who's who or Sabo for like defense and stuff like that. And it's uh, it's wonderful, <laughs> it's really cool, and uh, yeah. Uh, I love Jack and Sabo in this deck because late game, you actually have just an untouchable uh, combo with these cards with Ice Age. Uh, Ice Age leader ability gives you minus 7, so any 10 costs if you have Jack on the field is gone. And even crazier is uh, you can hit an insane combo with Sabo. So if your opponent has a 10 cost, you drop Ice Age on the 10 cost. And then if you have Suru, if they have 7 costs or less... Like, if they have a 7 cost, you can drop Suru, uh, give it, drop to 5. Then you can use Leader Ability, because of the rest of Dawn, from these two. And then drop it down to 3. 
drop Sabo and you then delete a 10 cost and a 7 cost. And normally at this stage of the game when you do that, your opponent probably isn't coming back from that. Because <laughs> uh, at that point, again, you're going to have Sabo on the field. Especially depending on the stages, you could already have Moria on the field as well. And yeah, you're just going to close out anybody. Um, but yeah, I think this deck can is going to change the landscape of how this game is played. Because being able to just block out of any early leader attacks, it just exploits the weaknesses of uh, so many decks. Because a lot of people when you're playing, like RP Law for example. I've played RP Law since it dropped. Um, the Three Captains has been my main deck. But RP Law is actually pretty weak to this because uh, RP Law isn't going to be attacking you for that much, especially early on. So if they're only attacking 5-6, we have so many 2Ks, they're not touching our life. And why that is massive is then uh, later on in the game, once we get once we get to the full Don, we're untouchable against them. You have Mori on the field, you have Sab on the field, they can't remove these guys. And we'll also, at that point too, have a bunch of other stuff on the field that they have to address. And the reason why that is so strong is then your opponent can't do both. When you still, when it's turn five and you still have three life, your opponent and like four characters on the board, your opponent is put in a horrible spot where they can't do maintain board and go for like life. And it's actually just uh, nuts because also late game being able to be so aggressive. You can just keep drawing using King's ability once you get down to the five cards. And since we run so many 2k counters, your chances of just drawing at the end game 2k counters to be able to then block out of anything is pretty good. And it's actually, it's just, it's clicking, man. It's definitely need to play around with some numbers, like a little bit more. But uh, it's like right there with the, I feel like being able to actually change the landscape of the way this game is played. Because then you being able to block out so heavily with the 2Ks would force your opponent to use more Don to attack for higher. And if they're attacking for higher, that means they're not playing cards in the board. And it's just uh, pretty cool <laughs> because then we're just able to counter anything. If they're not playing cards on the board, again, we can remove anything. So if they don't have a bunch of stuff out, it's getting deleted anyways. And we're just able to force them into just bad plays. And it's super, it's so good. It's really strong. But yeah, got to play around a little numbers adjustments. But, dude, King actually rips. And, yeah, a lot of yapping in this one. But I think uh, King is actually one of the best decks in the game. If not, uh, could become, like, the best deck in the game. With uh, Once people learn how to play this new style of play with OP08, with being aggressive early with defense, and just taking risks with sacking counter. Because, uh, again, this deck is great with that because you know you can bring it back. You can bring your 2Ks back at will and whenever you need them. And, yeah, Khalifa, Sabo. Additional card filtering because uh, sending stuff to your trash again doesn't matter because we can bring it back. So it just lets you keep going to try to get the cards that you need to be able to set up our, our chains. And yeah, sorry for all the yapping and getting some games and show you how you just absolutely dominate people. All right, we got some RP Law action, so we'll see what we can do here. I'm probably going to mull again out of this because we don't have any like early removal. And okay, this is a lot better. We can work with this because uh, yeah, we got Brooke. We got who's who and Jack and all right. They let us go a second as well, which is nice. Um, okay. We get Moria as well there too. Okay. So we'll play around that. If they attack us for eight, we'll take it. If they don't, we will block that with, Hmm. I need to drop this. Don't know if I need this in this matchup. So uh, let's do that. So uh, we'll play around with that there. They drop Maria. All right. I mean, we're fine with that. Because uh, we can delete this next turn with uh, with Jack. And so let's drop uh, Bond Clay. Put one on here. Attack. And then, all right, we'll play around with that there. But yeah, Maria against us. The reason why I don't like the... Because, again, RP Law is going to be used, like, a ton. So, I don't want to um, give them, like, too much. <laughs> like, if we ramp up when they have this card and you don't have a way to get rid of it, they're also going to be ramping up, which is a, a bit of a problem. Because they could use Maria's ability right now and use, like, Leader Effect and everything for free. So, all right, they do that. I guess we'll take this one. 
Okay, we get another bond clay. So we can use the bond clay as removal and stuff. And then we can play around with the, everything there. But yeah, we'll just see what uh, they bring in here, I guess. But yeah, we got to delete this with Jack. And okay, they bring in Shariah. That's fine. And okay, they use Maria's ability at the end. I feel like the people, a lot of people wait to use Maria's ability at the end, but you can use it at, like any time. It's uh, not too big of an issue. Um, because we have seven. All right, I wonder if I can just uh, do something like this. <laughs> See what they do. If they block this, okay. Yeah, that was a smart thing. All right. Um, we'll drop uh, drop Jack. Select one card to trash. Um. Trash this, get rid of Maria, and all right, we we'll play around with that. So we're at 8k here. I mean, it's gonna be a little tough because they're at seven. Because again, Maria is uh, busted for <laughs> law. But we'll see what we can do. If I ideally can just launch some leader attacks and then play uh, around board here, but we we do have Sabo, so we'll be next turn. I can delete both of these with just a Sabo drop. But the scary thing is they have seven Don, so we don't know what else they can play here. But the only way they get get rid of Jack is if they have two, like a Max or a Gordon. So hoping they don't. If they don't, then if they can't get rid of this guy, we have a chance. So we can play around that. Um, if they're only attacking five, I may sack Brook. Just because we can go into Sanji, or not Sanji, Sabo. <laughs> and uh, we could bring, if we need to, we can bring Brook back off in like Moria later. So we'll play around that. Because yeah, I think Sabo is going to have to be our, our play for this one. And then we'll go there. So I'm not sure what they'd have for seven. If they ran Ace, Ace wouldn't really help him here. Because uh, we would get this down to five. But then they'd attack there. They'd have to attack with the stuff there. So we'll see. Because next turn with Jack and uh, leader ability. Okay, so they do have the ace. All right. So they're going to attack this. And we're going to go no. Block that. And then we'll see if they risk it with anything else. No. Do that. And see what else. Will, will they send it with Kid? Okay, they do not. So what do I want to do here then? For this next turn. Because we could. Okay, so they bring in the blocker law. Okay. And Gordon. Six on two. All right, well, I can't do anything about that. But, all right. We can still uh, get rid of a uh, couple characters here. So, what do I want to do here? I could minus this down and minus this down. If I drop Suru onto this, I can then... Uh, hmm. Actually, no, I'd have to drop this down. We can get rid of this and this. Then I attack this. Or... I might have to leave that there. I mean, I could attack this, though. Hmm. With, like, any a tough, sp tough spot. Um. Because this is three. This is five. So, I, if I drop Sabo, pop both of these, I could take the ace hit next turn then if we bring in moria we could bring this back for two on something so i'd have to use leader ability to minus something down then bring this in and brook and we could clear something that way that may be the be our best bet here because i don't think i get rid of uh if i just drop sabo get rid of both of these or i could get rid of ace in this. Hmm. Or if I wait a turn. Can I get rid of Ace next turn? Get it down to five, get it down to three. This only gets it down to there. Which I probably could get rid of this next turn. 
Okay. Um. All right. Let me attack them here. Five on five. And then we get rid of Ace, and I'll get rid of uh, Shariah here. Okay, so we get him down there. Okay. I'm fine with that. We'll deploy uh, this onto this here. And then do this and this. Oh, I got a treasure card. Um, We can trash Brook, this and this. And, all right. End our turn there. And we'll play around that. So we got to drop Moria next turn. Um... And we'll go from there. Is it, yeah, I can use leader ability to mine something down by two. We just need... I need another card like Suru or something. <laughs> for this to work out. Because, uh, yeah, with Moria, I could bring back... Brook and something else. It's just going gonna, gonna to be close. We're just barely, barely off here. But we'll see, because, yeah, they got the two blockers that are left. We got rid of one, and then they do that there. All right. Um, this will take this. Ooh, okay, we get Kamazo. That's actually way better than Brook. So I could then use now Kamazo to block out here. So we'll see. Oh, okay, never mind. Now they're attacking there with, okay. Ooh, okay. All right, we got a chance. <laughs> it's gonna be close. It's gonna come down to uh, Kid and Killer. All right, we'll do this and this. Play around with that there. I mean, if they don't bring in another blocker, I don't know. Were they going for game there? Um, I mean, they might have been. They were use this and bring in Kid and Killer, I guess, or something. Interesting. So, all right, they drop Maria. Not sure why. <laughs> it doesn't really do too much there. Okay, then bring in Law. All right, so how can we do this? So I can drop Moria. We can pop, uh, we can bring back Kamazo. And Suru. So I can get rid of something with Kamazo. So we could get rid of this and this. I'm not, I don't really mind Maria here because we're both, uh, I mean, it'll help him out next turn. But so if I just attack this, I might be able to clear the whole board here, actually. If I use, if we just use Sabo attack here. And then I use the king attack this. That could work. Because then I can use... It would just come down if they have kid and killer or not. Alright. So let me attack this nine on six. See what they do there. And we'll just go from... Uh, go from there. <laughs> and see how, how things play out. So I drop Moria. We bring in... Yeah, we bring in Kamazo and Suru here. So we get to minus something down to two. So we do that. Or we could drop Maria. Probably get rid of this. And then... Uh, yeah, just leave this on the board. Because then I can go for game next turn. Unless I want to get rid of this and just leave this. Alright, so they take that there. Okay, interesting. We'll put two here. Then attack this 7 on 5. See what they do there. So they take that as well. Okay. Alright, so here is the game plan though. Because I have both of these. They're here at 5. They're going to be at 7. Because they could attack here. I have two 2Ks. Um... If I bring in, yeah, drop Moria, bring in Kamazo, bring in Suru, we can get rid of this. I guess, it, yeah, I guess that's worth the, the risk, because if we're just playing around Kid and Killer. All right, so let's drop uh, Moria into Kamazo, 
into this, we'll drop uh, this down here. And since that's at two, I can then go one, two, and draw a card and pop that, and we get another 2K. All right, so here we go. <laughs> they have Kid and Killer, then we might be in trouble. If they do not, then we, I think, can win next turn. So we'll see. It's going to be close. But leaving this on the board because it's only 2K attack. So they would have to invest Don in it. But we're just playing the Kid and Killer Roulette. <laughs> and hoping there. Because, yeah, I played board there because they had low cards in hand. I don't want to give them this stuff back. Because, again, especially if it's like Kid and Killer, would you just get cooked? Because they, they could just literally uh, attack for like nine. And then load up, bring in something else, and then attack. But luckily we, do, we did get our 2Ks. We got the 2K bailout. The bailout checks there, and so we'll see how this goes. All right, them doing this may be a sign they have kid and killer. So, what do I do here? If I take this, because then if they bring in kid and killer, it'll be seven, it'll be ten, which we can block. So, do we go for the bait here? It would just depend if they have, like, Zoro. Well, no, if they drop Zoro and then brought in Kid Killer, it would be okay. Oh, wow, we got another 2K. <laughs> All right, that's good. Well, we'll see what they do here. So there's Kid and Killer. Putting the three on. No. And we can go this, this, and this. All right. There we go. We got him. <laughs> and we got another 2K. Dude, that worked out beautifully. I'm very pleased with that. That's sick. All right. The deck is uh, coming together. It's working a lot better. And, uh, yeah, learning, obviously, because I'm main RP law, kind of know what to expect. Have to play around Black Maria a bit. But, uh, dude, that was sick. That, that worked out so well. And, uh, yeah, being able to, because, again, Kid and Killer is, like, the, the go-to end game move. So just trying to play around and expecting that is uh, what my mindset was. And yeah, luckily we were able to hit them because we knew we had the 2K, so we had the bait. Again, we're running a lot of defense in this deck because I'm trying to play this deck how I play Marco and being able to, like again, block out of the early stuff so you can then make sure you can play your, your big cards later on, which I feel like is kind of the key for the OPA 08 decks that I think once people get going and figure it out, I feel like a lot of the OP08 leaders are very strong if you can play, protect life and stuff early to just be dropping like the, the boss cards and stuff like that. But yeah, very, very pleased with the, you know, beating like the best deck, the deck that just won the, you know, the opening OP08 tournaments, stuff like that, being able to compete there. But obviously we got to get more reps in, play around stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I actually like having so many 2Ks and stuff. It's pretty cool because, yeah, in certain matchups, we got the versatility now, which is nice. Alrighty, we got some Perona action. Don't know what to super expect uh, in this one, so we'll see how it goes. Because I haven't played, uh, like, any Peronas at all with the King. So we'll just play around the stuff there. All right, fine with taking that. That's good with me. Um, What do we want to do here? So they're at three. I have Bond Clay, so we can get us up to there. And then we can play around that. Alright, and then we'll force them to like rest Bond Clay and attack Bond Clay next turn. So we'll put this here. We'll attack here six on five. And then we may next turn I might use Maria to get some uh We may need to do a little card searching. <laughs> but we'll see. Because I'm be at 7. So we'll play around with that. Because I don't have a way to... Well, unless we do this. So that works too. Okay, so they do that. And then they're just calling it good there. Okay, interesting. Um, well, what does... I want to... What, hmm. What do we want to do here then? Because I could just drop Sabo here. And then put 2 on and attack. 
Because Salvo will be removed to being like KO'd by anything. All right, let's put two on here. We'll attack them seven on five. And then I can use... Uh, let's see if we can grab... Uh, okay, we got a Kamazo. So we'll trash this and we'll trash... Uh, well, where am I at? Because we'll be at nine. Let's just trash... Uh, trash Kamazo now then. Because then next turn I can drop Moria into Kamazo. So they drop Borsalino. All right, well that's annoying. It's like the the only the only counter <laughs> is this, but okay. And then they drop uh. Okay, the Belmere. All right. Yeah, eight on six. I'm gonna have to say no to that, pal. Get rid of uh, some more two Ks here. All right, so what do I want to do here? Because, uh, I mean, they have this. I need to put one on here. We can attack. Leave me c the cards here. I may use uh, the, we could use the draw ability to draw something and just get rid of this anyways. So I don't have uh, something to play off in Moria here. So yeah, well, let's put one on. Attack them six on five. See what they do here. And then, uh, yeah, drop Moria, bring back Kamazo. All right, so they do that. Um, hmm. I may attack him again here because we have life to play with and I have 2k counters. So we're going to attack again with Sabo. Is why not? Because Sabo's now uh, can get KO'd by stuff if they mines him down. So attack him again, maybe get another 2k out, stuff like that. Because they're only going to be at 9 for the next one. So, okay. We get them to drop that down there. Okay, cool. Drop Moria. Uh, bring back, uh, bring in Kamazo here as well. And we'll do that. So, now I'm at 5 cards. And if you're at 5 or less, we can go this and this. Draw a card. We'll just get rid of that. We get another 2k. And then next turn we'll be at 9 again. So, I could drop Moria if they get rid of Kamazo. Bring Kamazo back. And then we have Ice Age to uh, play around Kamazo and leader ability. So we'll see what happens. And then also the reason why I went aggressive with Sabo there is because we have the two Ks. That's uh, pretty much uh, the only reason with that. Why I'm uh, doing that so we can keep up the pressure. Because again, we're at three life. We're playing defensive. We got our, our chain out. We got them down to one. So we'll see what they do here. Because they only have two cards in trash. So they can't drop like Moria or anything and get like any utility out of it. So we'll see what happens. And then, yeah, we got the Ice Ages for Kamazo and stuff like that. So we'll just see what they do. Because if I need to as well, we could drop Moria into Khalifa. Like if they, I guess going for this, we could drop Moria again into Khalifa minus something down. Okay, so they're dropping Sabo to get rid of Moria. Well, interesting. We're about to get rid of their Sabo. <laughs> so, this will be cool. And then they're attacking five. Um, No. Let's just do that now. We can just be very, very aggressive. And the reason why Kamazo is sick in these removal matchups is because uh, it, he just works so well with King. It's super, super nice. Um, I drop, uh, I could just drop Ice Age on this, and then leader ability, we use Moria, bring in, um, well, I could bring in Bon Clay, low key, get the, the extra Don back. I kind of like that. Okay. So, we'll drop that down with Ice Age there. Um, drop, uh, drop Moria. We'll bring in, yeah, Bon Clay. Do that. Bon Clay gives us one back. So then I can play around the stuff there. They're here. We'll go one, two. So they're, there we do that and that. And then I can attack, uh, could attack here. All right, let me attack five and five. 
see what they do. So they do that. Um, all right, I'll put this here. We'll tack six on five. And then again, because I have the two Ks, I'm going to do this again. All right, so we'll see how this goes. So now we have threats on the board because we have Bond Clay. And these ones, if they play anything big, we got the 2Ks because we're loaded up on 2K defense. And, yeah, we can protect board. We still have three life. We're going to be at full 10 Don next turn. And we can just go crazy with it. So, even if they drop, yeah, the Ryumas here, it's not too big of an issue. Because, uh, again, <laughs> if uh, I drop a Mor Moria on their head next turn, yeah, I think they, they know. <laughs> There's nothing they could do. Because uh, they have no counter. Literally, we have Bond Clay, who's a threat. They drop, uh, who is just going to be able to attack. They have to rest Bond Clay, attack Bond Clay, but then we still have these two, and they can't risk attacking uh, with like Borsalino because we have this and fold down. So, all right. This deck is starting to become fun to me <laughs> with uh, figuring it out. Dude, playing, dude, Marco has opened up uh, my eyes to like so many other playing dynamics again it was like opio 8 feels like play defense aggressively early and then you just pick your opponent apart because so many of the the decks from like the past sets like a lot of people don't expect uh normally you just get the trades right like leader attack you do the the everyone's just going to take the extra cards but like being able to play around king and especially our ability and stuff like we have a draw so being able to King actually works out like pretty well being aggressive with the, the defensive cards because you're still going to be like, once we get up to the full down and stuff and we're hand size, you're still going to be able to draw a card, which is actually like for an efficiency purpose is actually sick. And yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying King. It's challenging, but yeah, dude, OPO eight, I think uh, it's going to take a little bit for people to figure out how to play these decks because it's a, a lot more risky and uh, people don't like taking chances as much from what I've noticed and played against. But dude, it's kind of clicking with me. I like when I get to play like very aggressive with uh, certain things. So yeah, we're we're kind of we're kind of rolling. All right, we're going up against my boy Marco. So we'll see how this goes. And so again, as you guys know, another OPO eight leader that I love dearly i think it's super cool all right we got a bunch of bond clays so not much we can do there but we'll play around uh stuff here we'll see what they do with these two if they attack for seven or eight we'll take it if uh okay so yeah we'll take this grab a card okay we get moria and that's uh, pretty good so we're going to pretty much force them into some like removal stuff here so we'll drop this down so we can get the ramp We'll tack them six on five back. So they take that. Okay. So with Bond Clay, we're kind of forcing them into either dropping. Yeah, the I assume the five cost Marco. So what I'm going to do around that is we'll just get rid of uh, Helmepo here to block. And then, yeah, they bring this in, which is fine. So we could do a couple things here. Um, We could play around removing this. Because if it gets KO'd, they bring it back rested if they have an event. So we could see if they have an event to go that way. Or we just play, if I wait a turn, I could drop a Bond Clay. We could drop two Bond Clays and then do that as well. Because then next turn we could drop a, comfortably drop Saba or Moria and delete a couple things. Hmm... You know what? I might do that. We're gonna we're gonna try something a little wild and wacky here, because I can use this for 2K and we can use this for 2K counter because we do also have Moria here. So we'll do that and then we'll do that. And all right, play around with the, both of those there. Get rid of uh, a blocker guy here. And okay, it just depends on what they play here, and then we'll just crunch some numbers and play around that. So they're attacking us seven on five. Um, we can take this one. And ooh, okay. So now we can, yeah, we'll block out of this for sure here. Um, 
So they have another five. So what do I want to do here? We have Helmeppo, so I can just sack uh, Kamazo. And then they drop Ace into Izo. Okay. And then they get a 2k there. All right. Well, see what do we want to do here? We're at 10. So we're dropping Moria. We're going to bring in Kamazo and Helmeppo. So Helmeppo is minus three. So we could drop this down and get rid of it. And then play around, uh, just attack this. Because then I can also draw a card at the end. So we could attack this. Uh, I could put one on here, attack it. Uh, seven on six. So we can uh, delete some stuff in their hand. That'd be kind of nice as well. Hmm. <laughs> or put one on here, attack there. Because, uh, yeah, get rid of this at the end with Kamazo. And we'll play, yeah, I think we just attack this a couple times. All right, let's do this here. Let's just get some cards out of their hand. So, all right, they do that there, which is fine. Then I may put a two on in attack, get rid of a couple things there. Okay. So we'll put two on here. And then now attack eight on six. So they don't have a, a stage or an event. Yeah, a stage or an event to uh, bring back. Okay, cool. That is wonderful. Things you love to see. So then we'll do this, do this, and do this onto here. And then we're going to go, because we got this down to three, so it's at two, which is in range here. We can then go one, two, and now we can just draw a card instead and get rid of that. And all right, so now we got this. We got Mori on the board. Got Kamazo, we have uh, two Bond Clays, so if, even if they just attack with Izo here, because we're loaded up on the 2Ks, um, we can just sack a 2K and just play around whatever they bring in here. So, because we have Sabo we could drop, because we have, we can get something down by four. All right, so they drop, uh, they drop Ace. So they're going for both of the Bond Clays, okay. Well, okay, we might not be able to protect him now. <laughs> but we can at least get rid of uh, this next turn. So two on minus two. Yeah, nothing I can do there. And then six on minus two. Nothing we do there. And then seven on one. All right, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Because, yeah, we're going to clean this guy up. And then we can put pressure on them there. So what do I want to do? Because we could... I mean, I could attack them here because we can bring in Sabo and I can just use leader ability. So I could attack a seven here and then we'll be able to yeah, use Kamazo to clear everything there too. All right, let's attack them five on five. And then, yeah, we'll put two on here, attack. So we'll do two here. Attack them there. All right, so they block that. So now I can do one, two, minus this down, get rid of that. And then we can now drop, uh, so I drop Sabo, do this, do this, and this. And then we'll use Moria, attack them down to five. All right, and now we're loaded up again. We got all the two Ks in the world here. <laughs> we're looking good. I can block uh, anything they do, and we can play around that. So they drop ace. Okay. So this is what down to four, and this is down to three. I can. If they attack this. We can block. I can blo actually block. Uh, yeah, we'll just win. We can sell out because I also have this, so I can then delete their ace next turn, anyways. <laughs> so seven on two. Okay. Well, I can't block that. But I can block this. So what do I need to get rid of? Keep this. Do this and this. Alrighty. So we're able to do that there. Um, I can just play this onto here. So that way we can draw a card later on. And then I have plenty of... Because, uh... Uh, yeah, I can drop this down. Use leader ability. And then we can now use Brook. Go through my uh, progressions and stuff for you guys there. Because I uh, want to keep the 2Ks and stuff here. So we need three for Brook. And all right, they're, they're just called a good. <laughs> Dude. All right. I'm clicking with this deck, man. This is actually 
it's kind of strong. <laughs> Which pains me to say because I love Marco. But obviously we got to get more reps uh, against all the decks. But uh, I think this deck is, not, is better than Marco. Low key. Because being able to just block out for the fact that you have Moria and Rebecca and stuff. And you can just like sack Kamazo for a 2k or Suru for the 2k. Knowing that you can just bring him back is actually kind of nuts. <laughs> It's so strong, man, and just being able to, because you stall if you stall your opponent out early, in the beginning you put them in that weird spot, because once you get some board control, your opponent then has to put if they're then attacking your rested characters, it means they're not attacking your life, and the longer the game goes on, the stronger King is because King's ability once you get to the full ten is no, is fantastic because you're always gonna just get the Don back anyways, so then being able to just like attack for seven it. And then use the ability to draw a card if you need to. If you're less than yeah five or less, draw the card, or use it to clear stuff. So, yeah, King King is coming together, and definitely got to get some more testing and stuff done. But right now I'm low key decimating people <laughs> playing it this way, because it is just it's actually so consistent. Because if you have Moria, like uh, you can just throw caution to the wind and sack like Surus and stuff like that. And Kamaz was actually wonderful because Kamazo isn't on play so it just allows you the flexibility of being able to do a lot of other stuff and then do combos like what with the, like Sabo and stuff like that which is uh which is nice because we could have obviously just gone for the game there because they don't have anything to block a nine then we'd tack there for the nine but if I clear the whole board it wouldn't have mattered but uh yeah all right king uh king is king is coming together Thank you guys for tuning in and watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.